Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $104,656.97. In the past year I am up $26,722.16. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $12,482.36. It says on Friday I was up $942.91, but I think the number is a bit off just because it's already Sunday night. But since my last video update, I'm up several thousand dollars, so I'm doing pretty well, and I'm very happy about that. Now, there are a couple of positions where I'm down like several thousand dollars on, so I could have been at like, you know, 107, even more than that, but uh, unfortunately I made some bad moves so I'm I have less money than I could have but overall I'm still you know in the green at least so I'm happy that I am up some money but some of my positions I'm losing money on but I'll, we'll get into that later so let's go over my positions for my options I'm selling Amazon $175 covered calls these expire September 20th, my total return, I am down $2,460. I'm selling SoFi $7.5 covered calls. These expire September 20th, my total return, I am down $96. I have Amazon $140, $130 put credit spreads. These expire October 18th, my total return, $26. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return, I am down $150. I am selling Disney $95 calls. These expire October 18th. My total return, $140. I have McDonald's $210, $200 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th, my total return, $540. I have McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th, my total return, I am down $3,740. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,153. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,550. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $1,426. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.28. My average cost, $176.44. My total return, $2,953.65. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.92. My average cost, $5.71. My total return, $14,148.48. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $90.80. My average cost, $67.50. My total return, $9,320. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $157.31. My average cost, $142.48. My total return, $1,483. Sorry, $483. This is a margin account. My margin total is $94,604.70. My margin use is $56,031.02. My options collateral is $22,000. This leaves me with $16,573.68 in buying power. 
My margin status is low risk. My buffer is $34,935.48. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.55%. The daily interest I'm paying is $10.01. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So overall, yes, I'm up. I'm green. And I'm very happy about that. Up over $7,000 in the past week alone. Um, however, the unfortunate thing is some of my positions, I'm down like several thousand dollars. One example, and probably the best example is this one, my McDonald's $300, $310 call credit spreads. Oh my goodness. I would have been better off not doing this play at all because look at this. My total return, I'm down $3,740. So down almost $4,000 from this play. So if I had not had this play, I would be closer to like, you know, $108,000, $109,000 if I had just not even done this in the first place. However, down a lot of money. And the reason for that is because in order for this play to make the max profit, McDonald's has to stay below $300 per share. And it is dangerously close right now. It's at $296.60. Very, very close. Now, if it does stay below 300 at expiration, which is in December, that's, let's see, right now it's September 15th, expires December 20th, three months. So about three months from now, if McDonald's stays below 300, then I'll be making some money from this. However, if for some reason McDonald's just keeps on going up and up and goes above 300, goes above like 310, I'm going to end up losing lots of money. Um, so I don't know. In the past year, my goodness, McDonald's has been up and down. It's like a roller coaster ride. 246 at one point, then went up to 300, then went down to 245, and now it's back up to 300 again. Pretty much. Um, yeah, so this is very close. I don't know what's going to happen from here. If McDonald's is going to go back down, if it's going to keep on going up and up. Oh my gosh. I don't know. But this is my, one of the few plays I have where I actually want the, the underlying shares to actually stay below a certain price and not just go up to infinity. Now, of course, my bullish positions, I want them to just keep on going up and up forever, right? Like SoFi, uh, but you know, some of these, I want them to stay below a certain price. Another example is Amazon. See for these Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads, I want Amazon to stay below $200. And that's why I'm down $150 right now because Amazon, it's at 186, which is a little close to 200. This expires earlier though. This expires in October 18th. So like next month. So as long as Amazon stays below 200 until the expiration date, which is next month, then we'll be fine. But yeah, a couple of these, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous game because if it does go above, you know, these prices I chose, I end up losing a lot of money, um, which is unfortunate. Now, there are some where I want them to stay below a certain price, but it's not as significant as a loss. So, for example, Amazon. Covered calls is not as risky as spreads, in my opinion. So, I did choose a strike price that's $175, and right now, Amazon is at $186. So, it's well above $175. So... Because I chose a strike price that was too low, I ended up losing out on some money. I could have made more money had I chosen a higher strike price, such as $195, $200, but I chose $175. Now, I knew that going in what the risks are. I mean, it is what it is. I still end up making some money anyways. It's just that if I had chosen a strike price that's higher than the current price, I would have ended up making more money than I 
uh, I'm making now. So, so it's not really a loss per se, more like uh, losing out on money that I could have made uh, for that one at least. Now, yeah, most of these other positions are okay. Verizon, I'm doing okay in. See, right now Verizon is at 44, which is. Getting a little close to 47, uh, which is what I wanted to stay under, but we'll see what happens. Right now, it still is in between the range, so I do want it to stay in between that range of, you know, below 47 and above, um, what is it, above 35. Which it is, so that's fine. But yeah, it's it's tricky because I, I, I have to monitor the stock price of, uh, you know, these, these shares, uh, or rather the share price of these, uh, these companies, because I want them to stay within a certain range, you know, either above something or below something. I have to, that's what I watch for. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have to report on. There are a couple that expire at the end of this Friday. So my Amazon covered calls as well as my SoFi covered calls. Although these ones are only uh, four cells, so this only applies to 400 of my shares. The other 6,000 of my SoFi shares, I'll have to, I think I'll just do more covered calls on it. Um, and then I also have my Disney and Google that I have to do covered calls on it as well. So I'll be op opening up those positions. Uh, Probably this upcoming week, I'll open up some more covered calls and then we'll go on from there. But for now, that's my portfolio. I could have made several thousand dollars more, but unfortunately I made some bad decisions. So I missed out on some money. Um, unfortunate, but I'm happy that at least, you know, this year I'm still up, you know, over $12,000. So at least that's something, but uh, I made some not optimal decisions um so i lost out on several thousand dollars that i could have made you know i, I could be thousand dollars of uh, thousands of dollars richer but some of my plays just aren't working out so well but yeah we'll see what happens in the future for now that's it for this portfolio update if you guys like this type of content and you guys want to see more please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll keep on making more of these videos thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye